Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly reading for Leo. Hi you guys, hope you're all well. I'm going to pull out three overall energy cards. I will have singles readings up uh, next Monday, so you can keep an eye out for those. Leo, overall energy, there you go. The power of purpose, the divine matrix, and broken open. Oh my goodness, okay, something's happening here. I feel like what's happening is it's all about divine timing. I feel like something's coming full circle here. That's uh, what popped into my head right away. Somebody, there's something to do with balance here. I feel like somebody's about to open up to you. Uh, they're coming towards you in a balanced manner. Uh, I love this card, Broken Open. It's about centering yourself, okay? Finding that balance within yourself. It's about releasing negative energy. Uh, I feel as though there, I, I think you got someone here who wants to come in and open up. And I feel too, uh, with your energy, if this person comes towards you in a balanced manner and things go in your favor, this is about the divine matrix. You don't really know where this is going to go for sure. But if they come towards you and open up and everything is balanced, uh, could be a healing energy for some of you. You may be open to it. Okay, that's what I'm feeling. So we have the power of purpose. Finding out what someone's intentions are. What's the purpose? Okay, uh, I feel it's, to me, it's always like asking questions. But I feel like somebody's coming in to kind of make like a power play. And it's sort of like this divine timing kind of a situation. So we have the four of material. Yeah, you've got some a situation of holding back. We have the tower. And we have three of inspiration. So that's, wow, three of wands. So there is something you've been waiting for, okay? By the looks of it here, Leo, waiting for a situation, holding out for that one, that specific person. And I feel like that's your purpose, is to find the one. But I feel like you're looking elsewhere. You've been kind of holding back, feeling stuck, and I feel like you're tired of waiting. Uh, and you're starting to think, what is the purpose of this, right? Uh, and what all the things that you want and you don't want. You want the one. So you can see these dominoes here <laughs> are starting to fall. So I feel like something is coming full circle. There is going to be a tower moment uh, where I feel, yeah, somebody in here has been holding on to something. And I feel like there's going to be, uh, it feels like a, it's like you're tired of waiting. You're having this epiphany. It's time to move away. But I feel like you have someone here who's holding on to you. Now, this is an energy of protecting yourself as well. Holding on to your money right now. You may have an epiphany. It's a good time to hold on to your money. Two of emotion. Ten of voices. And the devil. So yes. <laughs> there you go. I'm going to put the rest of these out. And then I'll go over these. Clarity. What messages does Leo need to hear? Nine of material. Mm -hmm. Four of voices. Clearing out negative energy, negative thoughts, getting out of your head. Some of you have been sticking to yourself, spending a lot of time alone. Uh, I feel like you have, I can see this single person energy, whether it's yourself or someone else but this is someone who's making plans there's this of healing something opening up yeah i feel like there's a healing energy it's also like it says getting out of your head and there we have six of inspiration yeah success some of you are setting yourself free from something here okay i see a sagittarius energy there's somebody who could be coming towards you wanting to heal things uh, they may be coming in to open up Okay, I feel a healing, uh, but I also feel like you need to get out of your head or this person does. Let me grab this deck. Yeah, two of emotion, two of cups, two people coming together, ten of voices, <laughs> ten of swords, energy, uh, ending a painful situation. Some of you are tired of waiting. You're not waiting for someone anymore. You're putting an end to something, and it's likely the painful waiting. You're having this epiphany, uh, and, and you're just doing it is what I feel. Someone could be coming back to you that doesn't want to let go, okay? They could feel that you're no longer waiting and you're moving on uh, towards another person, okay? They do, it's an energy of somebody who's holding on. They don't want something to end. You got this uh, devil energy, some Capricorn energy. 
Uh, I feel some of you they could be or it's you may have it in your chart or it's just this energy of somebody who is obsessed okay with putting an end to a situation and I feel as though you're looking elsewhere you want the one you want that special person in your life you want that soulmate connection someone maybe uh, who's been holding on to you and holding back because they're stubborn okay it could be yourself as well and it's time to just let go is what I feel to move to allow things to move forward uh, I feel like there is the divine timing here. Uh, I feel like there's somebody here who's coming in, making plans uh, to heal a situation. Uh, this is uh, someone who's planning success. So this is also telling some of you, when it comes to work, if you've been focused on your money and you've just been like so obsessed with uh, creating something, money, your job, career, whatever it is, okay, try to figure out what your purpose is, where you're going. But I feel like some of you are planning for success as well. Someone here wants your attention. And they want to have success with you. Someone feels you may be giving your attention to someone else and they're going, oh no, uh, they've been stubborn, holding back, uh, likely having an epiphany. But I think you're about to end something with one person. Uh, it could be a toxic situation, a healthy relationship. Uh, it could be the person coming towards you as well, you know. Uh, maybe at, you know they've come full circle. They may have been with another person and they're coming towards you. So interesting energy. Someone might have been holding on to something toxic and unhealthy they need to let go of to come towards you uh, it's an energy of breaking free being single uh, going out on this adventure in love uh, releasing all this negative energy this unhealthy pattern uh, i feel here we have the four of material yeah see there's somebody who's been holding back and thinking they've been in their head somebody's been very stubborn but i feel this is somebody who's having an epiphany they need to get out of their head it's time to put an end to negative thoughts okay uh, it's time to stop you may be on a break from somebody as well like i say it's always that incoming energy of somebody who wants to heal a situation somebody may have healed uh, they may be coming towards you. Someone's coming around. Something is evolving. Somebody has gone through some kind of change. This could happen suddenly. Someone may have changed their mind about you if they were holding back. Maybe they've been laying there at night, hold, you know, uh, thinking about the things they're holding on to, and they may be wanting to come towards you. So I feel there's a bit of a story here for some of you. Yeah, we've got this energy, this transition, uh, this change. Somebody is coming towards you. Someone's taking something they've learned here. And uh, I feel like you have somebody who's moving towards you, but some of you are moving away from somebody as you move towards another. Wow, Leo. Tell me about Three of Inspiration. Why is this here? Three of Inspiration. There we go. Yeah, so there's that energy. Yeah, you want what you want. You want your wish come true, but you're being careful what you wish for. Moving forward. So it's telling you, if somebody comes towards you uh, that's kind of changed, changed directions, changed their mind about you, whatever that is. I think some of you have changed your mind and you're moving away to avoid a disaster. You're being careful what you wish for in the direction you are going, though. Uh, you want that soulmate connection. It could be somebody who's a friend who wants to move towards you. They want to uh, change something about your connection as well. It could be just someone who where you're kind of in that friend zone. But I feel as though you got somebody here who's literally obsessed because you're sort of setting yourself free. You're getting attention and giving it to other people. Yeah, so be careful what you wish for. Yeah, you may be waiting for this person to come towards you, uh, but I think that's that energy of somebody who offers one cup and nothing more. So it's telling you, take the time to get to know, take the lessons you've learned from the past, and it's time for change to move forward. Something is evolving here and moving forward. Just go with the flow, moving forward calmly and peacefully, but just be a little bit cautious. It does look like you're about to get something you want, though. Yes, I feel it here. It's like that transition energy, right? That change. Yeah, there's definitely some kind of decision uh, to either end something with one person, have a reconciliation. It's not always a reconciliation. The judgment is that massive healing, letting go of something and uh, putting the end to a painful situation, something that's been on your mind, in your head too much, that's negative, that holds you back and keeps you stuck. Okay, but I feel like it's another person's energy as well. 
So uh, that ten of voices in the center, this is the heart of the reading, is putting the end of a painful situation, making the decision to let go of an unhealthy, toxic situation, or maybe somebody was obsessed with someone else and they were holding back from you, uh, getting to know you because they were maybe waiting for this person to maybe come around. Maybe that person would change their mind, but it was keeping them stuck. Tell me about the ten of voices. I feel most of you are just ending a cycle. You're making yeah, that crossroads, making a choice to start something new. You're on a new path here. You're making this decision, but somebody wants to approach you about starting new. It could be a new person. They could be, this is your energy, Leo. Someone's seeing you very clearly. Like, I feel like you're ready for something new here. Beautiful. You've got someone thinking about you here, gaining the insight and clarity. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. A uh, strong Libra really could be anyone. This is someone making a decision to start something with you, to uh, choose that path, how to approach you. They're gaining some kind of clarity and insight. They want to know if you, this is someone who could be obsessed thinking about you too much. They've been holding back thinking and not really taking any action. They've been sitting on that fence. But now you're going off on a path. Someone's, I feel is thinking that you've started something new. Uh, they're a little bit obsessed up in their head. It's more than likely just overthinking. Uh, but I feel like it's also because it's in the middle. Somebody is looking at a decision uh, to end something, to heal, to release, to move forward, and to start something with you. They could be the one who's moving away from something that's been keeping them stuck. Tell me about the devil energy yeah so you've got somebody here some very strong libra energy it doesn't have to be a libra but it could it could be a gemini aquarius energy or just a person who's in their head gaining clarity uh, that insight wanting to know if you've started something new they want to approach you uh, maybe they want to open up it could be a reconciliation someone has yeah you've got someone here who's obsessed maybe even a little depressed they weren't focused on this two of cups you see they made somebody made a bad choice they maybe chose another person uh, maybe it didn't work out it ended painfully uh, they regret something they have a regret remorse they were focused on negative all the negative feelings maybe somebody from their past that they were needed to heal from and they couldn't move forward someone they were obsessed with or it's you know they're coming towards you and they feel there's no hope because they weren't recognizing what they had so yeah so we have justice this is someone who may be seeing you just right they want to make things right but this is a decision this is yeah they feel like there's no hope here though right because they weren't balancing their head over their heart there was a lack of balance in a connection i feel for some of you there could be two energies i don't know why but i feel like there's an energy you're moving away from towards someone new and the person you're moving away from uh, maybe or the person you're moving towards, they could be coming towards you because they've now let go. It's just a lot of scenarios here. But this person that feels, you know, some remorse and regret for something very unhealthy, toxic, or they, you know, were focused on something negative that they were healing and holding on to. Somebody was very stuck, but they're ready for change. And I feel they're coming towards you to talk to you, maybe make peace move towards it but just like i say be careful what you wish for here okay you may have been waiting for this person to come towards you uh, but i feel like it's telling you they may only offer one cup you may decide that you may have changed your mind by the time this person comes in and be ready to start something new that's kind of what i feel is happening nine in materials why is this here yeah, so there is, yeah. So there's someone here who's not sure you're single. They don't know if you started something new. A little bit of mystery, confusion. You got someone who's a very deep thinker, somebody who's deeply emotional, but they don't know how to balance that head over heart. Could be a little fears that you're no longer single. Yeah, you've got somebody here, and this is someone who's holding back. They know they need to get out of their head. If they want to have success, they need to take action. They need to move towards you. Uh, some of you are releasing this person because you've been waiting for them, and uh, you're ready for freedom. You're ready for a new adventure in love. You're finding your own balance here. Yeah, so there's someone here who's not sure. There's some trust issues, maybe some fears. I feel like this is somebody who... Uh, may have been keeping a secret 
Maybe you have somebody here who, I feel like if someone is not really trusting, like they have this fear that you're no longer single, but this is also someone who may have manipulated you and um, be keeping secrets. Maybe they weren't single. Maybe they were actually with somebody. Maybe they chose another person. Uh, and I feel like whatever it is, it's ended painfully. Um, wow. So now they're thinking of heading your way. But I think you're releasing it. I think you're letting go of someone yourself. You're off. Uh, moving towards something successful. Uh, I feel like this person wants to heal though. Yeah, you're manifesting something new or you have somebody else who's manifesting you. I now see a Gemini. I feel like you're moving away possibly from a Libra they're, and they're trying to come towards you to find out if you've started something new. Uh, this person thinks too much. I feel like they're like literally obsessed. They're in their head. Uh, they, it's just something toxic, something healthy. Somebody who wasn't fair, didn't play fair. They kept secrets. They manipulated uh, but I feel like you've got a person here who, I feel like you got two energies. Uh, I see magician energy is def Gemini, sometimes Virgo, that Mercury energy. Watch, you may have someone who's manipulating. Um, there may be something that needs to be released. Sort of holding back and thinking, making sure someone's not coming in just looking for attention. Someone has an ego. And I feel like they need to open up and their ego's getting in the way. Uh, but because you're setting yourself free, you're, you're looking uh, away from this person towards something new. Now, you may be manifesting something yourself with a possible Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. It could be anyone. I see Cancer, Pisces energy here as well. Manifesting something new. Somebody has, somebody's been holding back and thinking. Uh, they have all the tools they need. They're gaining information. Somebody's trying to gain some clarity here uh, about coming towards you and manifesting you, but there's some kind of trust issues or something. Uh, this is an energy of somebody who takes what they learn. Uh, they leave the negative behind, take the positive, the thing that works forward, you see. This is someone who's facing their fears, doing some shadow work. Someone may have manipulated you, been dishonest. Maybe they told you they were single when they weren't or, you know, or it's something to do with this single energy. Someone who keeps to themselves, they want to keep everything to themselves. Um, something they manipulated you with or lied about or there's just some, you know, someone's in their head, a little, you know, that cerebral energy. So let's see what's happening here with this six of information inspiration for leo yeah there you are being strong feeling inspired i feel as you're using all the strength and confidence that you have uh, to move away from somebody you're manifesting something new uh, someone here sees your strengths they see you as someone they can have success with now uh, this is that energy of taming the beast as well taming that uh, need to it's taming the ego is what it is. There's You're taming the beast on someone because you're moving away from them and they're coming towards you. You're manifesting something and you're being very strong and very brave, very confident energy here about what you're manifesting. Interesting. <laughs> if you don't feel confident about something, okay, just watch your own ego, okay? But I see that uh, Sagittarius, someone may have some Sagittarius in their chart here. I feel it's not the strongest energy. Someone's trying to find out if you started something new. They want to. They're strategizing how to approach you, how to talk to you. Um, they maybe regret not committing to you in the past. They were obsessed with someone else. Maybe they got into another relationship. I don't know. Someone made a bad choice here. Um, I feel they... They've released something. I feel like there's two people. I wonder if you're moving towards somebody who's going through an ending, uh, healing, and it's just time for change. Somebody is definitely changing. I feel like it's yourself too, Leo. Tell me about the power of purpose. Yeah, some tower energy, some Aries energy there, or Scorpio. Uh, yeah. It's an epiphany here. Being careful what you wish for. Uh, there's a tower built on a shaky foundation here. Somebody's uh, feeling like you're no longer waiting. Someone's not waiting anymore. They're done. It's over. Maybe a bit of a shock. Uh, I feel there's this, maybe you're hoping to have a reconciliation or they are. I feel like it's them, but it could be yourself. Uh, I feel as though whatever it is, you want to make the right choice for yourself. Maybe you chose wrong and you have some remorse and regret. Uh, I see a lack of commitment. I see an unhealthy situation, a relationship with somebody. 
somebody got into an unhealthy situation and ended painfully and then they have some regrets and they want to come towards you possibly they may be seeing you as just right where in the past maybe they didn't I, there's something going on here between that the choice of uh, directions paths two people someone seeing something clearly now they may be seeing you as just right yeah someone they can rely on see divine timing somebody is coming full circle now i wonder if you have somebody that you were waiting for to heal and you were being careful what you wish for i can see that energy and you may have i, I see a couple energies but it's like it's like the aries reading it kind of overlaps uh, this is a you know the divine matrix is you don't really know where it's gonna go but you want to there's this energy of commitment to marriage two people who have each other's backs two people that build something uh, if someone has some regrets i feel like someone got themselves into an unhealthy situation a relationship or commitment that didn't go well and ended painfully and they're now wondering what you're up to they're thinking about you this person's in their head a lot I feel they're learning. They've learned a lot about themselves. Uh, there's this change that's evolving. They've gone through a lot of change again with that tower. Uh, they're moving away to avoid a disaster. And it could be yourself too with, if you got two people. So there's this energy of walking away. Huh? Moving towards where's that? Somebody walked away from you. Maybe they ended it. Uh, maybe it's yourself just walking away. You want love. You want the one. You want your soulmate right there. Uh, you may be moving towards a reconciliation with someone else. <laughs> it's possible. Or it's just a decision. Wow. Yeah. Safety, security, stability. Someone you can rely on, count on. Two people who have each other's backs. Partners, right? Soulmate connection. Someone is about to make a decision here express themselves to start something but they need something they need to learn before they come forward you know setting themselves free somebody is setting themselves free uh, from something someone this is something coming full circle for some of you yeah moving taurus virgo capricorn energy or just somebody who's moving slow somebody who wants success they're making plans they're aiming for success here but they don't know if you're single I think you got two people here. I feel like you need to be, you're moving away. I feel like some of you, it's moving away from a Libra, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, you're setting yourself free. You're moving towards somebody else. Well, someone's going to try to come in and manifest this new beginning. This person uh, that they manipulate, they're secretive. Be careful that somebody isn't really single. Make sure you know exactly what someone's intentions are. Gain that clarity and insight. Be wise, okay? yourself leo yeah be strong and be brave i think you're setting yourself free from it's not going to be easy in fact some of you could decide to just stay single uh, not so sure you're you know you're but i see this manifesting somebody may even see you this way as the magician very strong very brave someone who can manifest uh, anything that they want but this four of voices is somebody who is releasing something they need to get out of their head if they want to manifest you someone here definitely yeah i just i'm not a big fan of uh, this energy this is somebody who may have been uh, keeping a secret manipulating you they may not have been single maybe this is someone who has everything they want they don't want to share anything they're keeping things to themselves you could have someone who has they could be financially successful and they hid that from you because they didn't want to share anything I uh, could see a lot of stuff here, some kind of manipulation or little mind games, mysteries, confusion. Uh, I think you're letting it go. I do. You're manifesting something new. Be brave. Be strong, Leo. You got this. Yeah, look at that energy. I see that emperor energy. Somebody is coming in. They see your strengths. Somebody is definitely um, wanting to have success with you. And I feel like you have possibly an Aries. It could be anybody. Sometimes I see this as Taurus. Uh, it could be anyone coming in as that emperor energy. Could even be yourself. You knowing what you want, having very strong boundaries here. You're setting yourself free. You want success, but I think you have this emperor headed your way, uh, who's gaining that strength and confidence to come towards you. They this is someone who needs to release their ego, though. A little bit of caution. I see travel. I see some kind of movement. Somebody could be at a little bit of a distance, but they're in your world, so they're not very far away. They could want to come and see you suddenly. So this is also telling you to prepare. 
Uh, I do think you're prepared. I think you've been planning for this more than likely. You're very much prepared. Yeah, you've got someone here who's coming towards you, chasing after you. They make up their mind. They want to talk to you, clear something up, maybe heal a situation, open up. Somebody wants to know if you're open and available. You may be, but it depends how, you know, this is how, it all depends how they approach. If they approach you with honesty, clarity, the truth. I feel as though, I mean, it could be successful, but I feel like you're setting yourself free from someone you don't feel comfortable with. It's like they take a long time to come around. And then when they do, it's very secretive. They're always hiding something. They're manipulating. They may not even be single. But it's, yeah, someone who's, I would be cautious with the person that you've actually been healing and moving away from. It's almost like you're just about ready to uh, stop waiting and you're looking out there and you're now having this epiphany. It's time to go. It's time to walk away and move towards emotional fulfillment, towards this. Or this is somebody who's headed your way. Someone who offered one cup and nothing more. They wanted you to indulge them and you're not because you're holding back. You're just releasing them. Wow. Yeah, it could go either way. But there's that Empress. We have the Emperor and the Empress. Yeah, you are open to this, to hear what they have to say. You'll be gracious and you'll be, be kind. Uh, but you're going to want that uh, this person to be open as well. Okay, I feel like you're very grounded. There's this beautiful healing. You've gone through all the lessons of all the queens here. And you're now this empress. You're manifesting what you want. And how you're doing that is sitting there in that empress energy. They have to come towards you honestly open. Uh, they have to know exactly what they want and not be afraid to go after it. You want someone strong, someone capable. I do see an air, uh, possibly another Leo. And like I said, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and then that Aries energy. I see some Taurus energy here as well. Maybe Virgo uh, with a non-immaterial Capricorn energy with the devil. So, wow. Yeah. You want someone who's just right. You want someone who treats you fair. Someone didn't treat you fair. They didn't treat you right. Uh, I feel, and they have some regrets, but I feel like it's kind of too late uh, because I feel like what's happened is this person was coming towards you just looking for attention and you weren't feeling secure because they were taking a long time. Um, you know, they just came towards you when they wanted attention. Very slow moving. This is someone who who plans ahead. Do they prepare? They're preparing for success. I feel it's like you're moving away, but someone else is moving towards you. Yeah, wow, tell me about this Empress energy. There we go. Yeah, so there you are, single. You have everything you need. You're preparing, planning for something. Some of you, like, you know, you're looking really good. Some of you have gone through a healing. Some of you might even be um, getting your hair done, making yourself look good, <laughs> okay? Preparing for some, this new person, whatever it is you've manifested. You've held back. You're, you've been clearing your head, clearing out negativity. So there you are. Somebody wants to heal a situation with you, though. Could be someone who's just sort of laying there at night thinking about you, too, to manifest this. Uh, they definitely see your strengths. I do feel like this is somebody who, once they know what they want, they'll go after it. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. And someone's chasing towards you. They're becoming more decisive. They know what they want, and they have to come after you. So, someone, the chase is on. I feel like you're single. You definitely are. I feel like somebody's trying to find out if you are. Uh, I see the possibility of two people coming together, going off on this adventure. But I do feel like you have some really strong boundaries. Be brave. Don't be afraid to put your boundaries up. You know what you want as well, okay? Yeah. You don't want anybody who comes towards you that wants everything their way or the highway, okay? So make sure you get that clarity. Make sure this isn't somebody who rushes in and out, okay? They come rushing in and they're not clear. Make sure they know exactly what they want. It looks like someone wants you. And they are decisive. They are chain, you know, but this is someone who can change. They're decisive as they head towards you. Then they get there, they may change their mind. So I feel like you've been sort of sticking to yourself, definitely single. You've been focused on uh, something new, something creative, I feel. You've been working on money, uh, trying to keep yourself balanced. Very nice. Very nice. Tell me about the Nine of Pentacles. Well, you may have some Virgo in your chart. I see Taurus, Libra. 
about this energy here nine of pentacles why is this here it's one more nine of pentacles there we go yeah teamwork cooperate you want a partner you want someone like yourself someone who uh, sticks to themselves somebody who takes care of themselves you want someone who dresses nice looks good <laughs> this person seeing you that way uh, I do think you're going to be open to this, and I, but I feel as though uh, you're going to make sure this person's compatible as well. You want someone who dresses nice, looks nice, takes care of themselves, somebody to build something with, a team player. You want somebody, you know, to, you want to cohabitate with somebody. You want to build something. So this is a nice energy, and I think this person wants to do that with you as well. Definitely like the way you look, Leo. Some of you have some earth in your chart. You're very earthy, kind of down-to-earth energy, being very gracious. The Empress is always very gracious, but you're no pushover. I do feel like you'll keep a few things to yourself till you're sure. Uh, this person that's headed in your direction. So let's see. I'm going to pull out some of these uh, Angel Whispers cards that I've had for a while and keep forgetting about. For Leo, what do the angels want to tell you? Life never ends spirit endures all so uh, this is interesting and the reason I, I love these cards is they're always food for thought life never ends spirit endures all so it's definitely this energy of not giving up going for what you want being strong and being brave okay you may be ending something but I got a feeling life never ends or somebody here uh, that's coming towards you it's full circle and I feel like there's two but I do think you're going to move away from one towards this other person who sees your worth they see your value uh, they see you as the nine of pentacles the queen of somebody wants to know if you're single <laughs> for starters if you're ready to go off on this path with them uh, to build something I'm pulling out one more yeah focus on your dreams allow the power of manifestation to start and that's how you do it is staying in this empress energy Okay, you're open to listen to what someone says. I do feel like you will keep this to yourself. I do feel like you're going to be a little bit cautious. And I do feel some of you aren't 100% sure. Um, you don't want to rush into anything either. you are uh, kind of been single. You got everything you need as well. You're building something. But I do feel like you want a partner. So lovely energy. Focused on your dreams. Allow the power of manifestation to start. So there's something manifesting here. It's something you have manifested by being in this empress energy, by being strong and brave. Uh, I do feel like you're setting yourself free from a situation and it's not going to be easy. But I actually feel like it's another person. The, the second energy is someone who's healing from something they were stuck to and they're coming towards you. I don't think this person's 100% sure you're single either. Uh, I feel like that's definitely in question, but whoever they are, they definitely want to come in, and they're going to come in fairly quick. This is a, a Knight of Swords. Definitely could have Gemini or Virgo energy here. Interesting. There we go, one more. Uh, the beauty in nature can be the answer uh, to what you seek. Reconnect today. So you may be getting back to basics, getting out in nature with somebody. Uh, I feel there's a very earthy energy right here. Uh, very much so. I feel there is definitely some earthy energy right there. Your person likely has a lot of earth energy. And I do feel like you're going to get out in nature with this person. Some of you will do that. Okay, go for walks. You may go outside and meditate. You could be doing gardening, taking care of your house and home. Uh, that will ground you. Okay, that's that uh, grounding by reconnecting to nature. But I think you're going to reconnect with somebody. It says reconnect today. So uh, you may get a communication very suddenly from somebody. Uh, yeah, so it says, what are you waiting for? The life you dreamed of awaits you. This is more than likely this person, but it could be both of you. Uh, this is somebody who's chasing towards you. They now know exactly what they want. Uh, you're likely the person they've been waiting for. And uh, but I feel they I do feel someone made a bad choice at some point. They made a bad decision and they regret it. They either married somebody or got committed to them, but it's over. It was a painful ending and they may have been going through this long healing. Maybe you've been waiting for this. Uh, be cautious, though. Be careful what you wish for. But it looks like you could get something you want. 
All right, Leo, I wish you the very best. Take care of yourself on this journey. I feel like you're off on a whole new path. You may be craving something, the birth of something new here. You may actually decide to stay singleton until you, like, stay, it's sort of saying, keep some things to yourself. Look out for number one, okay? And uh, someone may be seeing you as the one as well, uh, but make sure they are compatible is what it's saying, okay? That they're on the same path. It's almost like, you and somebody are catching up, someone from the past. You may have gone through something else in the meantime uh, while they've gone through some kind of ending. So I feel full circle. Take care. Bye for now.